Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a couple of things that I have really been enjoying and some things that were sent to me that I haven't really got a chance to really use, but I wanted to share them with you. And then some empties. Now, I don't have a whole lot of empties, but I have some. And because I I, I'm trying really hard to remember not to toss my empties. I've been putting them in an Ulta bag and I only have like about four or five things in there. So bear with me. I'm going to share all of those things with you. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please also ring the little bell, the little notification. YouTube does wonky things sometimes as far as notifying people that videos are being posted or if I'm going live or if I'm premiering a video. So if you ring that little bell, you'll be sure not to miss any of my fabulous videos. I'm making fun of myself, obviously. So first of all, I received in the mail, and I don't know if you would consider this PR. I, I, you probably would consider this PR, but I received in the mail, and this is from, it said, Paris, France. And the brochure was really intriguing to me, but it is a cleanser. And if you read the testimonials, I had never heard of this before, but if you read some of the testimonials, it sounds really divine. So this is called, I'm gonna pronounce it Colossal, or Colossal, C-O-L-L-O-S-O-L. -L -O -O I will link the information below. And it actually is a, it's a cleanser that you don't need to really rinse off unless you, you know, obviously want to. And from what I was reading, some people put it in their bath water and celebrities have used this. And apparently this has been a secret of the rich and famous. i would never heard of it because I'm not rich and famous, but I received it in the mail. I really like it. I've only used it a couple of times and it is a very milky, watery, consistency whoops as you can see here very milky watery consistency it has a a slight a slight fragrance a very clean fragrance and you can actually remove all of your makeup with this and it comes off pretty easy so i like it i can't give you any information as far as pricing i'm going to try to get all the information link it below but i received this it came very well packaged with a brochure and a little travel bag that you can put it in so i think this is a really nice nice product so i like that a lot the other product that i received and this one came via the octoly network I was really super excited about this because I had used their oil and their oil, when this was sent to me, their Radiance Vitality Oil, and this is Jurara, J-U-A-R-A. When I used this, and I'd already reviewed this, I really, really enjoyed it. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blend of oils. And on my skin, it really, really feels awesome. It didn't leave me feeling heavy with oil or anything of that nature, just a very light, moisturizing effect and a, very much a radiant look, in my opinion. I really, really like this oil a lot. It is not inexpensive. So when I also saw in the Oculi Network that the same company had a ginger coffee firming treatment, so what I really like about this is it can be used all over your body or in spot checks, you know, like maybe your arms or your thighs. You rub it in circular motions. It's, it's really a nice consistency. Hopefully you can see it. Whoops. Again, you rub it in circular motions and it actually, I, I put it on my thighs. It feels wonderful. It, 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 is, it feels very luxurious and it feels wonderful. It is just a great consistency I don't smell anything it's just really really nice I love that a lot and the other one is that I received from them is the and this is really wonderful this is a plum and avocado nourishing mask this is the type of mask that you can leave on and again just a little bit you can see a little bit more of a greenish color I don't know if he's picking up on that but you can no smell, really. Very, very mild. 
very fresh. You can put this on your skin overnight if you want, in your trouble areas, and you can just leave it on there. You don't have to wash it off. It's really lovely. So these two of recent sent to me via the Octoly Network from the company. I'm gonna link all their information below. It is really absolutely lovely. I love the oil. Yes, I know it's pricey, but I love the oil. You know, sometimes you just get a splurge. You just get a you just get a splurge. So these two are really wonderful. This I've been using on my thighs. And then the face mask, just a really nice treatment. Last weekend, I came home, I was like really tired and, you know, so I took all my makeup off and, and then I said, I'm gonna just put this on. Instead of a regular sheet mask, I ended up putting this on. And then I just let that soak right into my skin. I never rinsed it off. My skin felt awesome felt really really awesome so a couple of things on my empties that uh, I'm going to share with you is the equate so this is the hair regrowth treatment this is Walmart's version hair regrowth treatment and this is sort of like the male's generic version of the Rogaine I use this on my hair on my natural hair I've been putting a drop and I've been massaging it in, so I ran out, got a replacement. I don't know that it's helping with hair regrowth, but I do believe it helps a little bit, with, especially with the fallout. Now, when we transition into winter from fall or into, you know, especially winter where it's a much drier season, that's where I notice the most fallout in my hair. So the other couple of things that I have been using, and this one I have to 100% give credit to Marlene Fab and Glam. She had mentioned that she had been using the 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream and she'd been using it for a long time. And so when I've heard people, various people over the course of time talk about this as well. So I said, I'm going to give this a try. So I ordered it and I have only been using it for, I think a little over a week. And what I do is I just put a little dab on in the morning where my eye bags are after I've washed my face and dab, 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 let that soak in. And it does, it does remove a whole lot of my puffiness. Yeah, it's a temporary thing. It isn't a fix, but man, it really makes your eyes look good in the morning when you wake up and they're like, Ugh. so this I have been loving a lot. So thank you, Marlene Fab and Glam. The other thing that I've been loving a lot that I bought, and this is from Penn Smith Skin Care. She had talked about the Lumify, and I've ordered the Lumify, and I know other people have probably mentioned the Lum Lumify as well, but I was really amazed. So, oh, you know, is it gonna work? You know, I don't have terribly red eyes in general, but sometimes they are red. Sometimes my eyes look tired. Sometimes they're just sort of like that glazy, sleepy look. I put these drops in my eyes and it clears my eyes right up. Makes me look awake. I don't think it gives me too much of a whiteness in the eye. I think it just gives me enough to look awake and I really like that. So thank you to Penn Smith for turning me on to that. This one, the Avene, and I can't pronounce this, but this is for your your skin. This, I bought this because I was told it would really work on veins and all of that stuff, uh, redness. So I've been using this for, I don't know, I'll link the information below, but I've been using this for quite a while now and I haven't noticed any difference at all. So I probably won't, unless something dramatic happens, I'm not going to reorder this. I think this was a waste of money at this point in time because it hasn't made any kind of a difference on my skin doesn't mean it won't for you and again i'm only talking about my skin i'm not a skincare expert i'm just a woman exploring skincare trying to slow down the aging process which hey guys by the way it's going to hit us all you know and it is much better than the alternative i always say you know every day you wake up is a good day i just would rather wake up doing whatever i can to slow down a little bit the aging process and so far, you know, it's making me happy. So far, I think it has worked. Do I look in the mirror and see tons of lines? Yes, and that is distressing, but it is also par for the course. You know, I'm gonna be 65 very, very soon. So the other thing on that note with veins, I have been really struggling with trying to camouflage my veins. And I'm not talking about concealers, light concealers for under the eyes, because that'll be a separate video for me, but trying to, find something that would conceal my veins when I'm wearing my makeup. So to that extent, I have been using for quite a while 
and this is the benefit industrial strength concealer and yes that's exactly what it says it it's what it's called it is the industrial strength concealer i have the number three and i have the number two i have two shades the lighter shade and the darker shade and these are industrial strength they're very heavy i would never ever ever stick this under my eyes at all but they are very very heavy and the darker one i don't know if you can see they will cover anything up anything up at least for a temporary period of time so i have really been enjoying these these are not inexpensive they're 20 dollars i think or so a piece this is the lighter one i do wear the lighter one a lot i'm going to put the lighter one over my burn mark i have a burn mark on my hands that i have had for a while and it really looks ugly so I have the lighter one on my hands right now. I haven't blended it in or anything like that, but the big round burn mark is covered up. It'll be covered up temporarily. So I have really been liking this a lot. But what I have found, and it was quite a surprise to me, is because I do like the hard candy lip products, is that I was in the store and I was looking at hard candy, candy and I found Glamouflage. And this is their industrial strength concealer. Now I only bought one because I wanted to see how it would work. And I may have bought the wrong color, I don't know. But this is, I don't wanna squeeze it too much, but I just got a lot out though. This is a heavy duty, I probably would benefit from a darker color. I don't know if you can kind of see it. And this is a heavy, duty concealer and so for me I love the benefit for me this has the exact same type of consistency but in coverage again all of these are just temporary things none of them are going to last forever but it has the exact same type of consistency and coverage that my benefit one has and at a fraction of the cost so for me drugstore version of this heavy duty industrial concealer i'm not talking your regular concealers this is a heavy duty concealer consistency is almost identical except this is in a tube and this is in a you know little this isn't a squeeze tube and this is just in a round little jar so i carry these around with me because i do have veins that pop out and it doesn't matter what I use for a setting spray. It doesn't matter what I use for makeup. They're going to pop out. They're going to pop through my makeup all the time. So that said, I am going to try a new, a new primer. And this one that I'm going to be trying is the Pore Refiner Primer. Pores Re Refiner. And Pores No More. This is from Dr. Brandt. So I just received this via the Octoly Network from Dr. Brandt in exchange for a review. I have a lot of big pores. A primer, I believe, will help blur them. I've used many, many primers. I have the Urban Decay primer. I have the ELF primer. I have the Number 7 primer. I have the It Cosmet. I have, is it It Cosmet? I have a lot of different primers that I've been using. Uh, so far, and I haven't reordered it because I do want to go through them, uh, the ordinary, the silicone, the ordinary primers have been really good. But so this is new to me. I'm going to try this all this week is what I'm going to have on my face. I'm going to see how it holds out. Super excited about trying this because I really need something that is going to help fill and blur my pores on my nose. And at the same time, give me a base that the concealer and my foundation will actually stick to. To me, that's really important. So the third thing, or a third thing that I got this week is the, um, the Shana B from Miami. And I got, this was just a beautiful presentation. Beautiful presentation. And I had ordered this off of the Octoly Network and it had, and it's brushes. So they sent me this box of three brushes. Now I haven't dipped into them yet but I'm going to this week. They just feel absolutely wonderful. 
So I have a shadow brush, I have a crease brush, I have a blending brush. I'm really looking forward to the crease brush because when I try to do my eye makeup, I, you know, I struggle sometimes with my crease. So I'm really looking forward to using these brushes that were sent to me. And as a bonus, she sent me a, a beauty blender their version it feels really good again i have not used this yet this was all just sent to me i'm also going to be able to share with anyone that's interested in this a 15 percent off a discount code which i will put in the description below but i think everything that was sent to me this this week that i got i'm really really anxious about these because i don't have a lot of makeup brushes I you know I don't have a ton of them I have some very basic brushes and brushes that were sent from my BoxyCharm these just feel really nice the reviews are excellent on these so I'm really looking forward to trying these brushes out a lot so thank you very much and again that was sent to me for review and I do have a discount code for you all too if anyone is interested and I think from my empties two things that i really wanted to talk about i have completely finished my olay pro retinol red version the u.s version and then i've also finished my olay pro retinol the uk version and um, for those of you that know this is the deep wrinkle treatment from olay for your crow's feet for your wrinkles and i have wrinkles that go all the way down and i have the crow's feet from laughing i've been using this for a year it'll be a year it'll be a year on my birthday that i've been using the red version and then about two months later i got the uk version so uh, i've been using these for almost a year and i'm going to do a, a review on my birthday for that i've also run out my number seven i've already got my backup I love it, I love it, I love it. I have also run out of my Pure, one of my eyeliners. I really like the PUR self-sharpening pencils a lot. I really do. This one lasted me months, and it was almost an everyday use from this originally. So you can get this in Ulta. I'll link the information. I really like this a lot. It lasts, it goes on smooth. You don't have to carry a separate pencil sharpener. If you're putting it in your purse, you're all good to go. The other thing that I ran out of, and I'm not going to repeat or buy this again, is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes. This is the Fine Point Pen. I just don't like it. I, I just really don't like the application process. I don't like how it lasts. I don't like anything about that. So that is not going to be a repurchase for me. So, I mean, other than that, everything, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to talk. Oh, I did not. Two other products that I'm loving. One is the number seven City Lights Tinted Moisturizer. I bought this, I don't know when, but a lot of times, this is a tinted moisturizer. It does have an SPF, only 15, but an SPF. A lot of times over the weekends, this is all I have on my face. I don't bother with putting a lot of foundation on my face or covering my face. In fact, yesterday, Saturday, all day long, and I recorded a video. All I did was put some blush on, some bronzer on, and that's all I had on my face was this. But a lot of times, that's all I'll wear on my face unless I'm going out or I'm doing something special. I really like this. So it is a tinted moisturizer meaning that you are going to get color, you're not going to be pale, and it is a moisturizer, it feels really good on my skin. I do happen to be a number seven fan, and I like my number seven products. I even have a number seven little touch-up makeup stick that I like, so I use that a lot. But the Essence Lash Primer, I know you've probably heard a lot about this, I am a mascara fanatic, so I have a lot of different mascaras. I also have a lot of different lash primers. I use a lash primer every day. The latest one that I got was the Pure, P-U-R, lash primer that I've been trying along with their new mascara. I absolutely love that lash primer. It is more pricey. So my second favorite was the L'Oreal. I've also tried many other higher-end primers. This works. This works just as good on my lashes as any of my other high-end or more expensive lash primers. It's amazing to me how good this works. So this is the Essence and this is the Volume Booster Lash Primer. It is hard to get. It sells out really quick because it's like, what is it, like four bucks? $3.99, something like that. And then if you get catch a sale in Ulta or wherever you end up getting your Essence products, a pretty pretty good deal so I really really like that also for my wigs 
my wigs. You see, some of this is my hair coming through here that I pulled out. But, uh, you know, for my wigs, I know that sometimes they, you know, especially with the lights, they can look very, very shiny. And, and I think in real life, they're not nearly as shiny as they would, as they are with these lights. So I did buy this Batiste, and this is a dry shampoo. I bought the Brilliant Blonde, and I also bought the Beautiful Brunette. So for those occasions when I'm thinking that I have too much blonde, like in this wig maybe, I can tone it down with the Brilliant Brunette just a little bit. But the beautiful thing about some of the wigs, and this is my Henry Magu Hayden, um, the beautiful thing about some of the wigs, especially for a content creator, if you find one that you like, they're so easy. You just put them on your head. You can record a video. This is very close to my natural style as far as the length, except my own natural bangs are a little shorter right now than this. But it is very close to my natural style as far as, you know, the way I wear my hair. Of course, there's a lot more hair than I have. So... I really am enjoying my wig wearing and for those of you that are, you know, wearing wigs because you have to wear wigs day in, day out due to hair loss issues and you're concerned about the shine, this is a really decent product. I really like this. I ended up getting this in Ulta. You can probably get it elsewhere. There's probably other similar products that are just as good, but I really like the fact that it gives you a little bit of a tint of color. And so on my natural hair right now, in between going to the hairdresser, it's got a lot of gray showing spray some of the brown in, cover a little of the gray up. Yeah, works pretty good. So I'm sure this is probably longer than I really wanted, but I did want to share some of the products that were sent to me and a lot of the products that I bought myself that I like and why I like them. And again, I just want to, share, want to say that just because something works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You have to do your own research. You have to use your own judgment, especially if it's skin care. Cosmetics, makeup, that's a little bit different. You can look at a lipstick, you can look at this, you can go, okay. But skincare is a little bit different. You know, do your research because I'm in love with this oil. It is beautiful. You might not like it at all. You just need a tiny, tiny bit of this oil. And it is like heavenly. Oh, and I should show you where I concealed my hand with my concealer. And that's the hard candy concealer. It's still covering up. So, yeah. And this oil, oh, here's where I dry. I dry up right around here. I can touch up right around my forehead. You know, depends on my, my uh, depends on how I'm doing with my Retin-A use. So, I'm loving that. So, thank you so much for sending me Gerara. I feel so bad for some of the brands that send me products to try because I butcher their names big time big time. Oh, and I got, you probably saw it in, in my other video, but I did get another uh, painting for behind me on my shelf, which is a heel with all the cosmetics. And I know I'll show it a little bit so you can see, but I really like it a lot. I think it looks very pretty. So that's what it kind of looks like. So I had this one right over here. That was the one that I had in my previous video, which has a, um, a bluer gray blue color with high heels in London. And look, it's a picture of the wedding, my niece, that wedding that we went to. And, um, and so, but then I saw this in the store and I said, ah, oh, I said, I have to have it. So, yeah, so I bought it and I can switch it. I can go from that one to this one whenever I want. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. And I'm really excited with how my bookshelf turned out. I really am. I just think it's really amazing. So. Yeah, so that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And please, please ring that little bell so that you'll be notified when I upload. Bye, guys.